Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video is going to be a bit different. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be going through everything that I put in my football bag to go to training for a group training session, not a solo training session, a group training session with my team. I'm just going to be showing you, it's going to be quite short, what I put in my bag for a group training session with my team. So I'm not taking any of the balls or cones and that stuff, just what I need to get myself ready for the entire session. So we'll obviously start off with the main thing is my football boots. I always love to have my football boots and my insoles out. So I take my insoles out of the boots every time I finish a game or a training session, I'll take my insoles out. Helps to air the boots, but it also sets me into a mindset whenever I step on the field the next time or I'm about to train the next time, I'll put my insoles in and it's a weird thing. People put their right boot on before their left. I'll put my insoles in and that gets me in the mindset to know that I'm ready to step on the field and I'm in the right mindset to for the training session and the game ahead. These are my boots, they're just normal studs, Nike Mercurial boots. Mercurials I feel are the best fit for me. I've got quite a wide foot and tried on loads of boots and they still don't really fit. So these are the best boots for me. Put the insoles and the boots in the bag, zip that up and it's gonna go in my night bag. So this is my bag, everything's going in my night bag. Got a little boot compartment on the side, so put my first pair of boots in there. Then we've got my second pair of boots. Not in the right bag, but they are my Nike materials again, but metal studs. So these again, I had the insoles out of, and basically with these metal studs, normally in winter you'll wear them in England, but I just keep them with me most of the time anyway, just in case you never know if the pitch is raining or it starts raining and the pitch gets horrible, you never know when you'll need your metal studs. So I've got my metal studs, uh, Nike materials. They're not the new ones like them, but they're still the top, top quality ones. And these are them. They go the blue and black with metal studs on the bottom, anti-clog system. Need to give these a wash to be fair. Also inside of this bag, I keep both pairs of my shin pads for game days. Keep two sets just in case, you know, you might lose one and then you've got the other. So basically, I've got one set of shin pads here, the other, these are the two pairs here. Put shin pads, boots and insoles in the bag. Zip that up. I'll go into the boot compartment again. There we go. The boots are now in the boot compartment of the bag. They're all tied up, they stay away. They've got a little holes on the side of the bag so that they can air. The next thing is I'd normally take a wash bag, but for this video I've just got my Vaseline, deodorant and blister plasters. These are a main thing because, as you can see, I've got loads of blisters all on my feet already, just from pre-season, and these are a lifesaver. So if you don't have blister plasters like these, you definitely need to get them because they're lifesavers. Vaseline helps with any cuts, grazes that you might need to just put it over if it stops, stops bleeding. Deodorant, obviously, must have. All of these will go in the front of my bag, in there, close that up. Next thing you've got to have are resistance bands. Absolutely great for warming up your glutes, warming up your legs. Resistance bands are definitely must get. Different resistances as well, not just one. You do need to activate your glutes, activate your legs before a training session, before a match. And these are very helpful for that. So you've got to have a few different sets in there for that. So they'll go in my bag at the bottom. Then you've got black tape. Helps with your shin pads, simple, not much to explain. Helps to tie it around your socks for your shin pads in a match. Use this sometimes, but I mostly use, which I don't have at the moment because they're ripped, is the shin pad holders that you get with the shin pads. So they're ripped. I need to buy a new pair of them, but usually I'll just use them with maybe a little bit of this if they're still slipping down. That will go in the middle part of my bag again. Next thing is AirPods. Usually I wear these on like a long journey, but I don't really like to have music before a game. When I'm driving to a close game, I really don't care for music. I just like to be in the zone, don't need music, but these are great for long trips. So I like to have these in my bag as well. So they'll go in this little zip here with my phone normally. And then we've got my phone roller. Great for before a game, little massage. And just put this in the big pouch here, down the side. But that's in the bag there. Quite a big bag, fits quite a lot, so that's good. Also got water bottles. Most of the teams supply water bottles, but I like to take my own just in case 
we don't have water that day, we forget in the team or whatever, and even traveling, you might need some water. So definitely water bottle, must have. Put that in the water bottle holder over here. Slide that down there. That one's a 900 milliliter one. Obviously you wanna have base layers if it's winter, but we'll go into that in a whole separate video. This is just a nice short video showing you guys what I got in my bag. Pretty short, simple. Sometimes I'll take a massage gun as well before a game as well. That's a good one, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.